I'm here today with uh, Sharon Squassoni from the Center for uh, Strategic and International Studies here in Washington, who is an expert on nuclear matters. Um, Sharon, what, what is your understanding of the current situation at the uh, Fukushima reactor? Well, at least three of those reactors uh, have now suffered um, a loss of coolant, and this is a very important thing. When a reactor shuts down, you still have to keep the fuel cool. And in three of those reactors, there's been a problem. We think that there's a partial core meltdown in at least two of them. And then we heard this morning that a third one uh, has uh, had its fuel exposed. And so... What, what does a partial meltdown mean? Uh, it's better than a full meltdown. Uh, it means that as the temperatures rise in the reactors, that some of the fuel begins to melt. It doesn't all melt at the same time. Uh, and some of it can sort of liquefy and drop to the bottom of the reactor. The worst scenario is when you have a full core meltdown and then uh, that material can actually eat through the steel containment vessel and then you may have a bigger release of radiation. So a partial meltdown can, at least in theory, be, be contained? Yes. And what is your understanding of how the Japanese authorities have been dealing with uh, this crisis at, at the nuclear facility? Well, I think they've done everything they can, uh, but uh, the problem was you couldn't foresee an earthquake and a tsunami on top of that. So these were m multiple big events. So what happened is that the normal backup systems failed uh, because of the tsunami. So they brought in additional generators, there was a battery. You've got to keep this water pumping to cool the fuel. And um, it didn't uh, work as well as they had hoped in those three reactors. And now they're pumping in seawater, I understand. Yes. What, what is that? Are they, are they sh literally shooting it in with hoses, or how, how do they do that? They're injecting it. I'm not sure uh, whether it's with hoses, but um, this is a... Um, what some people call a last ditch step because normally that water everything has to be pristine inside the reactor and when you're pumping in seawater uh, you're basically destroying the reactor for future use so this is a step that they wanted to avoid but now they don't have any other alternative there have also been explosions at two of the reactors I believe in the containment uh, the outer containment uh, right. buildings uh, how dangerous is that I mean this is not a nuclear explosion like Chernobyl uh, this is, the, the reactors are shut down. There is no fissioning going on in there. Uh, what you got there is some hydrogen had uh, migrated out of this steel vessel that the reactor is in, and it contacted air and exploded. So it did blow a hole through the roof of the, the building, the containment building. But the reactor itself, as far as we know, in, for units one and three, are still intact. How would you assess the risk of a, compl of a total uh, meltdown? I think it's important, really important, to remember that, um, you know, as far as nuclear disasters go, this isn't the top of the scale. But it does raise a lot of questions, um, particularly since the Japanese are very careful they prepare very carefully for earthquakes. They're the most earthquake-prone region in the world. Um, and you have to wonder how will other countries or other reactor operators uh, react if they were ever confronted in a similar situation or even something not quite so severe. There's, there's been quite a bit of discussion in this country about a nuclear renaissance, about a serious ramping up of the development of nuclear power reactors uh, given the price of oil and the uh, problems of global warming and climate change. Um, what do you think the impact of this, uh, uh, this crisis will be on those plans? There's been a lot of enthusiasm, what I call nuclear enthusiasm, in this country, but we haven't seen any plants built yet, uh, in large part because they're very costly, especially when you're comparing them to options like natural gas. Um, this may dampen that enthusiasm, but I think investors are going to take a look at what's happened in Japan, and um, they may think twice uh, before putting billions and billions of dollars into nuclear. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome.